We'll start on this side, which is where I didn't notice it too much, because I saw something instantly when I opened up the opponent. Welcome back to Loom with a Classic. We're in a car that you guys know really well, and one of my favorite customer cars is Black 1992 Daimler Double Six. Absolutely gorgeous car. If I was going to have a Series 3, I want it just like this one. It's fantastic. It's, uh, I love driving this thing. I've done a lot to it over the years, and it's a really good car. And what I love about it is that the customer just uses it as a daily, and it's, it's still in really, really good shape. However, about a month ago or so, he hit a bit of a pothole, and he said it's been making a funny noise ever since from the front end, the knocking. I have all the bushings at home, so I'm just bringing the car over and I'll have it back to you in a couple of days. So let's take it for a little test drive and figure out what it sounds like, you know, what it could be. Then we'll bring it back, remove the wheels, have a look, see if we can figure out if we were right with our guesses. So far it's been really quiet, but it's something up on the right corner because I've hit two potholes and I've heard it. But we're about to go on a bit of road that's really uneven and we should be able to hear it. Yeah, there's some knocking there. I do think this is sway bar or anti-roll bar because I always hear it from the right, but I also hear it when the left wheel hits. Yep. Oh, that sounds really, really bad. Yeah, most likely a little you know, anti-roll bar, sway bar bushes, the ones on the links, I think on the right side. So let's head on over back to the shop. We'll get this thing in there, take the wheels off and have a look. But I really do think that's what it is. Just one thing though, before we're back to the shop, I keep forgetting about this. And it's also same with my series too, but a really well sorted XJ12. I keep forgetting how good they are, especially like one of these uh, pretty low mileage Daimler double six, a late one. If you have a good one, they're just amazing. There's hardly any car, I think, or probably any car ever that will beat the ride quality of this and just how smooth it is and how quiet, how powerful, just the V12, everything. Nothing beats them. So uh, they're incredibly good cars. But I'm a little bit biased, of course I love these, but I don't think that there's anything that can be a Series 3 XJ or a well sorted Series 2 XJ in ride and handling. Anyways, we're almost back at the shop. Car is up in the air, at least the front suspension is. Got the bonnet open to let some of that lovely V12 heat out into the workshop. In the summer when you drive a car in here, especially a V12, you gotta wait for a while before you can work on it because it's too hot. But in the winter, it's just nice and lovely. Like I mentioned, I always keep a lot of these spares at home, but I ordered up an extra set when the customer told me what the sound was on this car. He sent me a video of when he was driving, and I said, okay, it's one of two things. It's either these bushes here and the links, and I always like to replace these as well because, yeah, either the nut breaks off or you have the sway bar that digs into it, and yeah, it's they're really cheap. Just replace all of it. It's either that or shock absorber bushes. So when I was driving, it sort of felt like uh, like one of those. Let's have a look if I was right or not. We'll start on this side, which is where I didn't notice it too much, because I saw something instantly when I opened up the opponent. See all that down there? That is the top shock mount disintegrating. Very, very common. Not that bad yet on this side, but it's almost gone. And here is that sway bar and it's still intact. They're quite cracked, but they're still intact. So they would not be making noise, but let's check the other side. And it's even worse up here. There's big chunks laying there. So it's definitely, definitely disintegrating. And let's see here. Once again, it's not broken, but there are some really, really bad cracks right in it. But I think our main issue, let's see if I can set a light up for you guys. Our main issue is the top shock mount. 
You saw it wasn't even in position. I can right there. That is the knocking sound. So I could title this video. We're going to talk about the common front suspension clunks. These are the two most common ones that I just mentioned. Shock top mounts, very, very common. Um, you'll hear it on bumpy roads and you'll hear just basically that clunk, 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 clunk. Usually you don't hear it until it gets pretty bad. So the other side, um, I mean, it was definitely worn out, but you only heard this side because only once it gets loose, you hear it, you know, knocking about. These are very common as well. Let me work with this light for you guys. These are very common as well. They usually crack and then you get metal to metal contact right there. And this knocks about and it sounds absolutely terrible. It usually squeaks as well. And the first time I heard it on my first XJ6, I was terrified. But it was very cheap fix, very easy fix. So that is usually not a big deal. Of course, there are other things that wear out. Um, these, they can crack top mounts here, but they hardly ever get any play in them. They can look utterly terrible, but there's still no play in them. The bump stops can usually just fall away. Not that big of a deal. You can easily replace them. If you have a knocking sound when you put the car in gear, and you feel like the whole front suspension sort of is knocking, it's usually top or bottom uh, ball joint, and it's just moving. If it's moving really, really a lot, then of course it could be the main front suspension mounts, but that is really rather uncommon. So the most common is here and up here. However, there is one more thing, because I like to count the steering as part of the front suspension. And you have three bushes on a steering rack, and they usually go bad. I have a spare rack over there, so let's have a look at it. This is a spare rack I have laying around. And here are the three mounting points, little rubber bushes. What happens when the rubber no longer is in contact with the outer part and the inner part is the whole rack can move back and forth when you steer. So you'll move the steering wheel and the wheels won't turn, just to rack back and forth. Very odd, very weird feeling. It's, um, it feels absolutely awful, but quite simple to, um, to fix. Just remove the rack from the vehicle. These can be difficult to get out. They're usually very stuck, but I usually hit out the centers, push away all of the rubber, and make a little cut into the bush and tap them out. And the new ones, you just simply push in and they're a lot, lot better. But Really, the other things I talked about are much more common. Anyways, that is really it. Those are the common knocking points or, you know, weird sounds from the front suspension. Of course, it can be other things, but if you have, you know, a car that's usually nice and smooth and then from one day to another, you have some slight knocking. These are usually the culprit shock mounts or these, um, these links for the, um, for the sway bar or anti-roll bar. Uh, very easy to replace. I've done a lot of videos. One of the first videos on the channel, like the fourth or fifth video, is on replacing these and some early videos on replacing these as well. So really straightforward and I'm not going to show you guys that again in this video. But uh, I will be replacing not only the shock mounts, but replacing these also because I started seeing cracks in them and I called the owner and he said, yeah, just start replacing them. Everything else looks really nice and tight in this front suspension. Anyways, if you like this video, please give a thumbs up, share it with friends. If you're not really subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. It really does help out a lot. Until next time, I'm Adam. This was Lim with the Classic. I'll see you soon.